everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the monthly readings for March 2020 and I am going to be reading for the lovely Virgos. This month I felt really drawn to the fairy elements so I'm going to be using the Karen Kay Oracle of the Fairies, The Fairy Forest by Lucy Cavendish. I'm going to be using a deck by Colette Baron reed which is the Wisdom of the Night and my trusty Cheryl Richardson cards. Um, self-care cards which I do like to use. If you are new to my channel on the monthlies I do a bit of uh, meditative poetry uh, that I like to put in at the end of the reading and I also like to pull out um, a little charm as well at the very end um, just to wrap up the the actual reading at the end of the month. Well for the end of the month readings I mean sorry. You'll have to excuse me today because I have had a chest infection for the last week um, so I'm, hopefully I won't cough too much. Uh, I have dosed myself up before I've started this reading. Regards the meditative poetry, I've written the poetry on these little quirky cards this month. Fairy themed and the artwork's done by Brian Frode. And if you haven't heard of Brian Frode before then there's loads of information um, on the internet. He did do a couple of oracle decks as well and um, it's very elfish, obviously goblins, gremlins type artwork. Um, so it is quite interesting if you know you do like the oddity of the artwork. So without further ado then, Virgo, I'm just going to move your card out the way. And we'll start your reading. But from my meditative poetry that I did for you, um, I had a feeling that you were being quite nostalgic. Um, reminiscing on old times. Could have been, been even getting the old family albums out and just feeling in quite a nostalgic vibe. Um, some of you may have been sort of um, looking at things what hadn't sort of uh, gone the way you had planned as well. And you were sort of thinking, um, I don't want to say blame, taking the blame, but it's like you were looking over at lessons learned in the past for some of you. That was one element I picked up in the meditative uh, poetry for you. I also felt there was an opportunity coming in for my lovely Virgos where there could be a new job opportunity with more pay on offer. That might take your fancy for some of you as well. I also felt there was going to be a chance meeting of somebody that you haven't seen from your past for quite some time. Literally, as I say, a chance meeting as you're out and about and you bump into this person. Okay, that kind of a scenario. And that will sort of make your day because you haven't seen them for quite some time. And it was a nice catch up type of scenario. So let's just have a look what the cards um, have for you then, Virgs. And we'll just get a card out to start this reading for you today. And we have the Fairy Norn, Planning, Patience, Cooperation. And with the, the card and the artwork itself, looking into the mirror, a reflection. It's like looking at the reflection of your past. I feel some of you are really dwelling in your past at the moment. Okay, As I said, having this nostalgic vibe to you. Um, and judging, I want to say you're trying to judge yourself as a person as well at the moment. Um, so there's big changes I feel for you. I've got, I've got two that have stubbed in my hand there and I am going to take these two cards for you Virgo. There's no formatting this reading, I'm just going with how the cards want me to portray the messages this month. So we have She Who Laughs, Humour, Perspective and Mirth. And we have The Shapeshifter transformation, primal wisdom and instinct. Okay, so as I said, I do feel that because of the nostalgia attached to you in March 2020, thinking about things that you've done, okay, errors of your ways even, but anything good or bad, lessons have been learned, okay. But it's saying here, it's as though you're stripping yourself down to the bare bones, literally, um, putting yourself under the microscope Virgo for the month of March and the shapeshifter is obviously the transformation you hide a lot of your feelings even to your nearest and dearest there's a lot of hidden um, secrets as well within you and that's why I think the nostalgic vibe is coming through it's like a cleansing 
it's like you've got to literally put everything under the microscope from your past okay and it's by doing that and analyzing every little part of the good and the bad in the past will then make you be able to transform to move on into the next cycle because we're in 2020 and I feel obviously the last 10 years okay there's been big changes you've done a lot you've gone through a lot you've learned a lot you've done a lot of good things bad things okay a lot of secret things hidden as well but these are things that you are trying to address and it's a reflection of the last 10 years having the mirror here that you are actually stripping back to the bare bones okay and then by doing this and analyzing everything you can move on now to the future and have a strong um, direction of where you should be tr going now there's a you've closed a chapter on your life Virgo as we go into March 2020 it's been a very nostalgic time it's been a very um, soul searching time for some of you as well okay on the decisions that you made in the past but it's saying here the message from the angels sorry not the angels the messages from the fairies even sorry guys messages from the fairies are saying yes you have got you've done all this reflection yes you've stripped yourself down to the bare bones yes you've addressed all the secrets and the hidden things as well that have been hidden uh, in your soul even you know what I mean that's what I want to say like you've literally gone into the into your soul library and picked every book off the shelf and literally gone through everything in the past 10 years okay and it's saying here the the, the fairies are saying to you you've done that bit now you can't keep dwelling into the past whatever's happened happened be it good bad secrets okay put that to rest you're in 2020 now you are in another 10 year new period for the future to look ahead to and this is what they're trying to give you the message of Virgo in saying you've got to put this to bed okay all this nostalgia all this going back over your past all this did I, if I'd have done this if I'd have done that it doesn't matter it's done it's laid to rest don't trouble your head any longer over secrets over things you did or didn't do and this is the message I feel that the fairies want to give you Virgs for March 2020 and it's to close the book on that so that's quite a strong message really that I feel from the cards that I've got here okay and it's about getting your true identity back as well you masked a lot in the last 10 years you you were sort of um, suppressed as a person as well in the last 10 years you've never really been able to be the person of your true essence and I've had a lot of this with the signs for March 2020 you're not alone here the true essence of a lot of you in March 2020 this is a key shift a key change that is going to affect a lot of the star signs not just Virgo where you are getting literally back to the bare bones back to the actual person your true identity okay so this is what you've got to focus on and this is the messages that have come out of the fairy oracles so let's just get a few more cards in Virgo because this is quite interesting and I definitely didn't want to go back in so we have healing now is a time for you to give or receive healing everyone has a natural ability to heal others yes even you but I do feel this is here um, saying that because of this you know putting this to bed this nostalgic returning back blaming yourself for things that didn't happen in able to put that to rest it's healing the scar okay literally healing the scar of your past hurts and then you can step out into a brighter future here with the, the rainbow in this artwork here in the card saying you've got a bright future ahead of you if only you can detach yourself from this being pulled back to this nostalgic type of energy so I'm going to pull another card for you this is quite interesting uh, Virgs and we have solitude think of being alone as meaning you are 
you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. So here I just feel you have had the solitude, you have had the reflection, okay? But it's saying now the healing work is being done by putting this nostalgic keep being pulled back to your past. Lay that to rest, okay, in peaceful solitude, and then you'll be able to go forward, okay, as your true person, your true essence without hiding anything else. Okay, so I feel like it's a cleansing of the soul for you, Virgo, for March 2020. So let's just get some further cards for this reading. And we have the warrior. Okay, literally the warrior with its battle scars. And you have been through some emotional um, times, okay? In the last 10 years, I want to say 10 years. I'm, I'm going through this cycle process here. This is reflecting you and all your battle scars that you've gone through in the last 10 years, okay? But it's saying you are going to be healing yourself from this. Okay, you are going to be healing, the scars are going to be uh, healing and you'll be able to go forward, okay, and as I said, be in the true essence of you, Virgo. So let's just tell us what else we've got coming in. I do feel as well that some of you could be in arguments um, with siblings or other family members, okay, where you're not happy about somebody or you're worried about somebody who um, are going off the rails a little bit, okay. They feel that um, they're waging their, their own war against you. You are trying to give them best advice, okay, and they're on the war path with you at the moment. But I do feel if that is reaching out to somebody where there is this turbulence, arguments with somebody where you're not seeing eye to eye okay and you do feel like you're in a war against a family member then it's saying that you've got to allow them to make their own mistakes and that's hard when you know that they may be getting into addictions or they may be getting mixed up with the wrong uh, kind of people and you're there trying to you know make them see sense they have got their own battles to fight and whether they fall foul on their sword so to speak that's their mistake that they've got to learn so don't waste your energy in trying to direct somebody onto the right path that is a path that they've chosen whether it's good or bad that is a lesson that they need to learn so i do feel i need to put that in for some of the virgos out there so let's just get some more cards for your virgs we have invisible okay and i do feel this is a knock-on effect from this um upset um i just feel that there's some unrest in a family unit and even the good advice that you try to give somebody it's as though you might as well be talking to the wall you feel invisible it's as though you don't exist to them okay it could be um as i say somebody has literally taken themselves off and you are worried and concerned about them um, and you've become invisible to them. This is not going to resonate with everybody, but I do feel that I need to put that out to some of you out there. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just coughing. So let's look what else we've got coming out for you. And we have deceit, okay? And with the deceit card here, again, it's knocking on from this message. There is some, I feel that you need to be careful with money. I feel that somebody may be taking money that you aren't aware of. So it's a warning here. There is some untrust. There is some um, something going on behind your back that you're unaware of that I do feel is connected with this family member or whatever this could be whether it's in a workplace and you feel somebody is talking behind your back there is just a warning here and i feel it's a um 
premonition type of warning to say, be careful Virgo, there is some underhanded uh, things going on here that you're unaware of. Okay, you're invisible to what's going on behind your back. So I'm going to get a, another card out just to clarify that first. So that's quite interesting. Um, if I can just have a card to clarify the deceit card, please. Whoever this person is as well, I feel they have tattoos on them. This person who's doing uh, the underhanded um, behind your back Virgo, okay? It's a person who, who wear, who's, you know, got tattoos on their person. So that's quite key really um, to be aware of. Because that narrow, could narrow it down to somebody, so. Okay, we have the choices card here. And it'll be a decision for you, I feel. It'll get to the point of when all this deceit comes out, this underhanded, I feel money's involved. When money's been taken or you've been duped out of money and you see it um, for black and white, you see their true colours, okay? But then it'll be down to you whether you forgive them for that or you turn your back on them and say enough's enough I've tried to I've tried to reason with you I've tried to make you see and then literally as hard as it is you turn your back on them okay so let's just get another card Virgs this is quite interesting really actually it's like you tell it you tell it to them in black and white once you've found out what's going on and you, you sort of lay the law down and say, look, this is black and white now. If you don't pull your socks up or if you don't get away from that addiction or you don't get away from those people, I am literally last chance saloon. I'm turning my back on you and you get on with it. Do you know what I mean? So that's what I'm feeling. It's quite a strong message, really. So I'm just going to, I feel like that wants to come out there. Priorities. Okay, we have priorities here. Get your priorities straight. When you know what's important, saying no gets much easier. So this is um, a strong message here. Again, it's just saying, I feel here on the whole of this reading, I am picking up with some Virgos who are having some difficulties with somebody around them, whether it's family, friends. There's an element of deceit here that you're invisible to at the moment. And I do feel that will come out uh, in the wash, so to speak. And as I said, um, you will give this person um, your opinion in black and white and say, look, this is how it is. If you don't do this, I'm turning my back on you, okay? And then that's just to get your priorities straight. You've given enough time and energy to them. If I was looking on this on a romantic, because I try and give a general read and then I will go and recap over it on a, on a romantic, to me, it would be saying to you, I do feel that some of you here have been involved in a relationship where the other party has been dishonest to you they could have been seeing somebody else okay they've been wearing a mask because i feel that's their energy if this is on the romantic okay i feel i want to put those two cards together on a romantic because they have been literally lying to you virgo they haven't been honest to you it's as though you've been looking at them and seeing them in a different light, okay? You've been, you look in the mirror at the, your partner and you see somebody totally different, somebody innocent, okay? When really they are this person hiding under a mask and they've been hiding a lot of deceit, okay? In a romantic element. At the bare bones of it, okay? Because I, I feel like you love them to the bare bones okay you you're so in love with this person you're quite blinded okay you're invisible you cannot see you are blinded because you're so in, so in much love with them okay but you've got to be aware that um this is going on um my lovelies and it will come to a light for you um i do feel that you you will be told by a third party I feel there's somebody aware 
of your partner and what they have been doing and they have been quiet about it and I want to put those two cards together now on the romantic there is somebody who's been sitting in solitude who is who knows that this person has been deceitful behind your back okay whoever this is okay and it's saying here they will give it you in black and white on the romantic and then it's down to you as a priority okay to the no becomes much easier to say you've got to wake up here okay you've got to wake up here and um, Virgs if this is on the romantic side to see this person for who they truly are who've been deceitful to you yeah you might you might love them to the bare bones okay but it's saying here you're worth more than that and this other party will tell you okay they've they've known for a while but they've just sat in silence okay um and they've been through a similar situation because they they wear battle scars from their past romantic uh, liaisons and they do not want to see you being hurt in the same kind of way so that's what i feel there on both sides then here um, on the general and the romantic so what i'm going to do now is um read you my meditative poetry so just move these cards along for a second and the little bit of meditative poetry that i did for you virgo said you are being quite nostalgic reminiscing on old times of elements that are now missing and things you've left behind time to think of your future new opportunities are coming your way a new job offer may be of interest as it offers a lot more pay a check up is needed medication will need to be assessed sorry a check up is needed medication will be assessed do not let it alarm you try not to get stressed as everything will be okay uh, a choice meeting with someone from your past is going to make your day so i do feel in my meditative um, poetry there were some of you as well um, who are currently on medications and they will need to be assessed and checked because i do feel that um, some of you may have, have issues at the moment um, regarding your health and they will ask you to go and get your medication assessed and i do feel um, it will just be you know regulated and not to get stressed about it because once you're on the I think the whatever dosage you're on it's either too high or too low and they just need to get that worked out because it may be that it's been working for quite some time but now it's having a different effect on you and it's just a, a check up really on the assessing of your medication for some of you not all of you but I do feel that there is somebody uh, at this chance meeting from your past with someone um, so that would be quite interesting Virgs so just to tie up this reading now I'm just going to pull out a charm so let's just get a little charm out of here and we have the little pram okay the perambulator as the old-fashioned word and when I look at the pram it's just about that the universe is literally treating you like the baby okay and they are putting you in an invisible pram Virgs and they are moving you forward okay you are being moved forward without you being without you knowing basically so I do feel that there is going to be a um, there's going to be things coming in for you okay as I said I feel there's a job where you may be looking at that may be uh, tempting you because of the pay will be uh, better for you okay there's going to be things cross your path for a reason and this is why the pram always comes out because as I, as I say it's like the universe is treating you as the child protecting you in the pram and pushing you forward and that is why the fairy messages are saying this nostalgia this dwelling back on your past you have to leave behind because you are being moved forward now okay for better things um that are going to be coming in for you virgo so that's quite a nice reading really obviously 
there's the issue there on the general where I feel that there's this issue around family member or a friend member where there's this deceit and then obviously on the romantic as I said that is going to come to light as well where you love the bare bones of this person but it's going to come via a third party that you're unaware of what's been going on my lovelies so it'd be quite interesting to get any feedback on this reading Virgo um, if this does manifest or come into fruition um, as we go along in the month of March so my lovely Virgos I'm going to leave that with you and until next time take care of yourselves bye then